Well, as you can see, I have conquered your Dark Souls 1 DLC walkthrough. Wasn't hard at all. I didn't rage or have any problems. Sure, if you count the six hours it took you to beat a dragon and the almost panic level of insanity you had when you beat the Sanctuary Guardian. What? Well, I, I, I don't know what you're talking about. I, I, I didn't have any problems at all. I think you're slipping. Oh, you think I'm slipping, huh? You realize that now I have to make you suffer, because the next game you're going to play is Dark Souls 2. So get ready to spend 70 plus hours on this part. I'm going to make you cry because of the absolute absurdity that is my playthrough of Dark Souls 2. I'm going to make you wish your mother didn't have you. J uh, just, just, uh, just give me the, the walkthrough. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for upsetting you. Don't, don't hurt me. Alright, so you guys have been continuously asking for Dark Souls 2 with a ChatGPT walkthrough. So, welcome to one of the hardest walkthroughs I've done. Real quick, I just wanted to say thank you to every single person that watched the other two videos. The part one, which is the main of Dark Souls 1 with ChatGPT, and then the part two was all of the DLC. It was only one DLC. But I wanted to say thank you to every single person that commented, every single person that liked. It was awesome. I... I I don't even care if this does half as good. I'm I'm so happy how well that did. Thank you very much. So really quick, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, I'm an idiot. <laughs> so I decided I was going to have ChatGPT make a ridiculously hard walkthrough. And so welcome to the walkthrough that ChatGPT has made me for Dark Souls 2. I hope everyone enjoys. Your first location will be the things betwixt. Your weapon of choice, fist. So since there's no real boss in this area, I had to use my fist on something, so I decided to fist the hell out of this hippo guy. Ooh, look at this beautiful hippopotamus. Look at that. <laughs> look at that booty. <laughs> Never mind, a tree is gonna block my sight. I don't know my name. I don't know where I came from. I don't know how I got here. I don't know how I'm wearing these clothes. I don't know anything about me, the person, place, or things that I'm gonna be fighting. But I'm killing this thing before I find out my name. <laughs> uh, he sat on me. Funny to think that that's how some guys get off. <laughs> uh, they just have a tubby bitch. <laughs> they just have a tubby bitch sitting on him. Hey, you know what? To each his own. That's what I say. You looking for your pecker? <laughs> Trust me, it's in there somewhere. So after quickly molly whopping the hell out of this tubby bastard, it was finally time to create my character and give him a name. <gasps> That's it. <laughs> I don't totally look like a vintage a corn eater or, or anything. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't look like one of those. Through this cave, we have the forest of the fallen giants. Weapon of choice that... Oh God, how... I, I, how am I actually going to get... The handmaiden's ladle? Really? How, how am I going to get that? I'm going to have to fight bosses with a spoon? That's fun. Fisty. I don't know why she calls me that. Travels through the force of the fallen giants armed with only a ladle. Did he even receive this ladle? Maybe from spoon. <laughs> okay. This one actually got me. How did he even receive this ladle? Maybe from spooning with its owner. Oh, oh, oh that's a good one. Wow. ChatGPT is starting to get my- she's starting to get my humor. So of course for this area I had to use a spoon. And because I didn't have the spoon yet, getting through this area meant I couldn't hit anything. And I honestly thought I was gonna hit my first roadblock right here. Uh, suck me off boys! Don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me- HA HA HA! You just gotta be smarter than the game. You know how it is? That's just how it is. Go 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 go! No, keep going you fucking asshole! God, you're a pansy! He nicked you a little! Keep climbing, you puss. Oh God, I just realized I set an army to come after me. So when I finally reached this bonfire up here, I decided that I needed a bunch of souls because I needed to buy a fragrant branch of yore to be able to unblock the area so that way I could even get the handmaid's ladle so that way I could start this playthrough. And in order to get said souls, I decided I was gonna do some cheese. And so because of that, we skipped this area completely and headed straight to Hyde's Tower of Flame. Your next location is the Hyde's Tower of Flame, weapon of choice, witches urn and fire bombs. That's gonna suck. <laughs> Within the divine halls of Hade, Fisty wields the witches urn and fire bombs channeling his inner opera singer to deliver high-pitched confusion to his adversaries. Okay, all right, well, that was... And it was precisely this point when I realized I might not be able to do this run because each time I killed one of these guys, I wasn't able to replenish the amount of throwables that I lost. And so I decided I was just gonna jet straight past everything and get straight to the boss in this area. Ah, never mind. <laughs> I thought I messed up. 
but I didn't. So after quickly defeating that boss without a cheese at all, I bought a fragrant branch of yore and headed straight for that handmaid's ladle. And I gotta say, defeating these titty swingers in this way was my favorite part of the game. <laughs> Oh my god, that was like a tubby dude rolling out of bed. <laughs> it was an immediate fall. It was like a family guy fall. You're being a dick. Oh god. Here we go, here we go. Fall. Roll off! <laughs> yes! Ooh. He does spawn? That's ridiculous. Like, that man will slaughter my daughter. <laughs> you say what the way he was looking up at me. Where are you going? I have candy. <laughs> I'm a stranger with candy. What a great TV show. It was the most offensive show I've ever watched in my entire life, but it was the greatest show I've ever watched in my entire life. We should campaign. This will never work. <laughs> we should campaign to bring back strangers with candy with the original writers. It was the only thing that Colbert did that was just even the slightest bit funny. <laughs> this thing is a hoot. God, you're lucky. <laughs> My vagina is on fire. So with the spoon in hand, I was ready to conquer Forest of the Fallen Giants. Oh my god, this is gonna take forever. Yeah, eat the boner. Oh my god. It's already almost broken. So yeah, I found out really quickly that this weapon was complete trash. But of course it is, because ChatGPT wanted me to use it. So now it was time to try my hardest to murder two of these bosses. But first, I had to make a quick pit stop and uh, murder this guy. He just threw a turd at me. All right, all right, all right. Before you say anything, yes, I was using the broken thief sword and I have a perfectly good reason to use it. I'll explain a little bit later why I needed his armor and ChatGPT told me if I had to kill someone for their armor, I had to do it with the thief sword. It does no damage when it's broken. That's awesome. So yeah, finding out that this ladle breaks every third hit, I needed to make sure it didn't do that. So I upgraded it as much as I could to plus seven. And it actually lasted a little bit longer than three hits, it went to five hits. So I decided to infuse it with mundane and also use some aromatic ooze, and I finally beat him. So the next boss I had to go up against was the Pursuer. And for the first time ever, I decided I was gonna beat him with those cool ballistic arrows that I have actually never used in this location. No, no, do it again. Yes. One more time, come on. Suck my bow! Oh, come on, man. Really? Is that really how this game is gonna treat me? After all the defending I've done of it. Oh, come on, I was mid-roll. Cock, he had so little health. Of course you went around the opposite way. What a fucking cock licker. You stay over there, dick stain. Yes. Fuck you! Get your dick out of my face. So now I'm gonna tell you guys something new I added to the ChatGPT walkthrough just to make it a little bit harder because for Dark Souls 1, it just wasn't hard enough. So I decided to add a rotation of armor sets with different penalties to each one. After I defeat three bosses with each armor set, I switch to the next one. The first armor set we're gonna be using is Pate's armor. You must kill him for it because it looks better on you anyways. And the penalty for this armor set is you can't block. Ah, so much fun. Current location, Lost Bastille. Weapon of choice, Lion's Great Axe. Oh, great, I'm gonna have to farm. Fisty blazes through Lost Bastille like the whirlwind of confusion, leaving enemies both bewildered and bedazzled. <laughs> oh, yay. I completely forgot about you. Oh, I can't block. Oh, and I roll like an asshole. Oh, thank God this is one of the slowest weapons to ever exist. Oh my god, that's even slower. Oh cool, the dogs are coming. They broke the door down. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done for today. I've yep, I'm going to I'm just going to take a break. I'm done. The next day. <laughs> Lick the balls, good sir. Look at all them dead dogs. That's what they deserve. Oh, ball sack. <laughs> Damn it. Oh cool, he's coming out of- <laughs> He just decided to jizz purple stuff while he defeated me. Oh god. Cock milk! Hit him for the love of Jesus! Yes! Lick the stash! <laughs> So even though I was pretty sure I could defeat the Ruined Sentinels pretty easily, I knew I did not have the weapon that I needed to defeat the Lost Sinner. So instead, I decided just to do No Man's War first. Alright, we have entered No Man's Wharf. 
So let's see what ChatGPT wants us to do. The next era you will be entering is No Man's Wharf. Your weapon of choice, the broken thief sword. Ugh, it's just, it's gonna be so much fun. In the dimly lit No Man's Wharf, Fisty stumbles upon pirates while clutching the broken thief sword, inadvertently giving rise to the unseen washbuckler? I, I don't, I don't understand. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Oh my god, you are about to get a face full of my dick. Do you understand me? Aw, oh man. To be distracted mid-air. I'd be so, oh my god. I forgot the whole, I forgot the whole village wakes up when you murder that guy. Here we go, perfect, thank you. Thank you for taking turns. Okay, all right, now you guys are being dicks. You're not taking turns. No, the sword, are you kidding me? So with my weapons breaking faster than a father's heart who finds out his daughter has an OF account, I decided I was gonna have to blaze through this place as well. However, I did stumble upon a new friend. Are you just a friendly neighborhood, uh, cursed guy? Me and my friend Dave here, we're just, uh, <laughs> welcome to Jackass. <laughs> I love his haircut. I didn't know Asmin was in this game. Come on, 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 roll. Ha ha! Hey, you guys forgot that I'm just a G, aren't you? Oh god, oh god. Thank god both you missed. Wait, it's uh, right here. Oh god! Damn it! Oh, man, I, I hate the feeling that your character is standing on a stick of butter wherever he goes. So you have to inch your way over every corner just to make sure your character doesn't accidentally slip on a banana peel and fly 15 damn feet ahead of him. Oh god. Oh my god. I should have just went in! So again, after running from the bonfire to the fog wall, I was able to make it through the fog wall without anything attacking me. And this fight went a lot smoother than I thought it would. This sword, even though it sucks, it doesn't suck that bad. Yes! Lick the sack! <laughs> lick the boner, good sir! Lick the stash! That's what I need to start saying. Instead of lick the sack, lick the b Turn around, lick the sack, or the stash! That beautiful, beautiful, uh, corn-style stash. <laughs> Let's go! So at this time I decided we were just gonna finish Lost Bastille, just get everything done with, defeat the center real quick, and just end this area so I never have to come back. Also at this point, I didn't realize I didn't have the weapon to defeat the Lost Center, so I had to come back anyways, but I did have a fun time playing peekaboo with these dogs. Come to the Slaughter Dome! Yeah, you is. Come on in. Oh yeah, cause you see your whole family out here dead, don't you? I dare you to step in here, you turd sandwich. Get in here. There we go. BAM! Thanks for the item, whore. You know, Emerald Bitch, I- <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But anyways, Emerald Bitch- is that a naked woman? Hold on now. What's up, girl? Wow. <laughs> I love that I just gave her that hood. <laughs> her arms look too long for her body. Are you a mutant? What are you? It's barely has tatties. I'm just gonna ignore you. How dare how dare you, ma'am? How dare you? Anyways, whore, like I was saying, I can't believe how easy it is to not block. However, I do have two bosses coming up here soon that I can't block with. They might be annoying, but so far so good. I don't mind not blocking. So the next boss we were gonna do was the Flexile Centuries. And at first I thought not being able to block and also having a weapon that I think I only leveled up to plus two, maybe? I, I didn't level it up that much, that I was gonna have a rough time. However, turns out this weapon kind of works the same as the Great Sword, which I always use all the time anyways. I don't know why so many people mark this weapon as one of the worst weapons in Dark Souls 2, because I gotta say, I actually, I actually enjoyed it a lot. And I was able to beat these guys first try. And on top of that, I was able to beat them first try without saying a plethora of stupid things. Oh my god. Now both of you guys were gonna do the twist of fate. <laughs> that, <laughs> okay, if anyone knows what the twist of fate is, you are be you have become my new best friend. Right, now it's just me and you, big boy. How? You just turned me into a Native American. You're about to get tamed. I'm about to pwn you, bitch. Suck my white ass. <laughs> Suck the stash. Oh, was that my first try? That was my first try. Damn, I'm good. <laughs> Damn, I'm good. All right, two bosses down. I just need to defeat one more boss and I'll be able to mail or to block again. Next location, the Belfry Luna. Weapon of choice, shield crossbow? How do, <laughs> how do I get the shield crossbow? 
At Belfry Luna, Fisty becomes a master of peekaboo well, warfare, utilizing the shield crossbow to create a game of hide and seek that leaves foes both baffled and amused. Okay, I hope they giggle. All right, the next area is Sinner's Rise. Weapon of choice, raw iron twin blade. I don't, um, I don't, ha I don't have that. <laughs> Where do you even get that? Within the ominous Sinner's Rise, Fisty wields the raw iron twin blade with an attempt at damaging foes, but looks more like a dance routine, creating a spectacle of bewilderment. All right, well, now I can't do this area either, so where do you, where do you even get that? Oh, God, the Shrine of Amana? What am I, Amish? I'm not even trying to go there. So the next location, Grave of Saints, Weapon of Choice, <sighs> Fists. <laughs> In the gloom of the Grave of Saints, Fisty reverts to his primal instincts, using his fists to convey a message of confusion that even the rats can't comprehend. So I don't know why, but this was legitimately the first boss that took me four hours to beat. I don't know why. I was having the worst time with this boss. It could be that when the Mohawk King finally dropped down, two hits was cursing me and turning me into stone. Could have been that I was like a level 22, or it could be that you have to molly whop and haymaker 10 of these guys before he decides to even show up. Don't get me wrong, it's me, so I definitely said these stupid things. Pick the one that's alone. Never mind, I punched that rat right in the face. <laughs> that was awesome. How many of these guys do I have to mutilate before I get the big one? Oh my God, there's so many. <laughs> there's so many. God, it takes 15,000 punches in order to kill one of them. Okay, I'm trying to punch your brother, okay? Just allow it to happen, okay? Thanks. God, is King Mufasa gonna drop down yet? Tired of beating up all of his children. Oh God, no, dude, no, no! Jack fucking quack up. Damn it! It doesn't help my room is a million degrees right now. I'm sitting in a bowl of a pool of ball sweat. Yeah, you like that bitch? Huh? You like that bitch? Okay, okay, all right. You got your you got your little minions helping. That's okay. You hooker. He jumped away. Let me punch your dad! No, 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 I'm poisoned. No, no, cock in the sandwich. Damn it! Ah! Sacagawea! I just need to segregate him. <laughs> that was a terrible word, but I'm gonna use it. I need to segregate him. Here we go. Bam! I need to separate him from the group from the group. So that way I can continuously mollywop him, give him some haymakers straight out of Mike Tyson's playbook. You know, the ones he gave to that woman. <laughs> uh, he could beat the shit out of me and he's 50 or 60. I'm mad if I kill his children in front of him. Yeah, look at that. I just murdered your fan. I just murdered your son. What are you gonna do about it? Absolutely nothing. About to gangbang your wife. That's this bitch right here. Boom! She was just banged by the best, good sir. What am I doing? <laughs> why, why am I doing this? Just fight the fucking rat. This is what I get when boredom happens. Uh, I mean, I am bored. <laughs> this this is such a tedious boss. Uh, these statues are cool. <laughs> I would commission one of these statues for my front lawn. Anyone else? I actually think they're like unironically fucking cool. Look at that. You could put a little bit of milk in there. <laughs> Don't know why you would, but you could. Oh, it could be a fountain. The the water could be coming out of his mouth and he's filling it up with the That's cool, right? I should not be an interior decorator, but I'm gonna be one day. But finally, after I wanna say it was like three hours forty-five minutes, I finally beat this stupid rat. I will end you right now! Suck the white ass, big boy! Yeah, now I'm gonna kill some of your kids just because you angered the hell out of me. Go away, where are you going? Are you trying to run from me? Yeah, you guys better run! All right, so I do believe it's been three bosses. We had the Flexile, we had the Sentinel, and we had uh, the Rat King, or th this guy. So, that has been three bosses. We have to move on to a new armor set. The armor set you will be wearing for the next three bosses is Alva's armor set. I really want to see you suffer. Okay, don't move the right stick. Well, this will be fun. I can't move the right... I I can't look down. Oh, God. I shouldn't have hit that humanity. I don't know where... 
I couldn't look to see where I was going. So of course, as you guys can see, somehow I made this game's movement even worse. <laughs> Not being able to move the right stick sucked so much. However, if you bumped up against things, it would rotate it for you. So that's mainly what I did for a lot of this. Oh, okay, okay, hold on. <laughs> what if I can do this from memory? So go tight left, and then is it, is it another left? Or is it right? L left? I'm going to assume right. Oh my god, do I really remember how this works? I think there's another right? Oh, oh, okay. I feel like, I feel like there's a jump off at this point. Nope, there was another one. <laughs> Nope, there was another one to the right. Okay. Is there a jump off? Is it a roll off? I think I can just walk off. Okay. And then just a happy-go-lucky walk off. <sighs> okay. I, I guess I'm going to inch my way off. Okay, we're going to gingerly fall off. Cock milk. Baby, step it. Baby, step. Come on. Baby? Baby? Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. I, I got it. I got it. I'll aim myself towards that hole down there. You see that? Okay. I did it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So after adding yet another level of difficulty, aka not touching my right stick at all, I finally, after a solid 37 minutes, made through this small area and can continue on to the gutter. Oh my god. Oh god, Jesus. <laughs> that actually scared me. Oh god, I am pussy. Alright, we've made it to the gutter. Weapon of choice, witch's urn and fire bombs. Equipped it with the balls of explosion, Fisty unleashes a symphony of confusion in the gutter, leaving enemies with ear ringing with ears ringing and doubt in their hearts. So real quick, I'm just going to sum up how this place is not being able to move the right stick. <clears throat> Terrible. <laughs> I died countless times of just falling because I didn't know where I was going. I stayed in this place for over two hours because I lit. I just kept getting lost. I didn't know where I was. I, I, I backtracking sucked. I couldn't look up. I couldn't look down. It, it was so I got myself stuck in places I've never been before where I just the only choice was to roll off and start over. You know what? It's the only way to do this is trial and error. You don't go that way. <laughs> you don't go that way. And we roll right. How? <laughs> How did you push me off? You're the skinniest bitch to ever exist. Oh my God. No, you're going to kill me. Cock. So lock onto him. There we go. Now I can easily. There we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. Lick the sack. Now lock. Oh, I should not have locked onto him. <laughs> no. Now I'm looking the exact wrong way. Oh my god. I don't know what to fight you. Oh, oh, oh. Somehow I'm alive. Somehow I'm alive. Jesus has granted my wish of living. Oh my god. Ah, oh my god. Okay. I am posend. Nikes! Do I gotta run across? Alright. Oh god! I would have loved to have seen the naked bear that just ripped my arm off! I am not supposed to be here. <laughs> oh god. And I can't turn my. I can't turn! You ever think SpongeBob will get into Sandy Strange? <laughs> you ever think so? I don't think so. I hope SpongeBob can eventually bang his friend. Because that's all he wants. I'm tired of him being in the friend zone. He's too good of a guy. Oh my god, there's a dog! There's a dog! He's a bad, he's a bad dog. Oh god, oh god, no, 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 no! Use it, use it, use it, use it, use it, use it, use it! Oh, Stop hitting me! You're gonna squirt on me, I already know. <laughs> all the bitches squirt on me. So I'm just going to wait until my squirt meter goes down. Uh, come, uh, I can't see. Okay. Yes. Yes. Just keep going down. Just keep working your way down. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I have a dick hair of health. Let me just quickly before I, before I get slaughtered. Ah, I got slaughtered. Why would you throw it there? Why are you Amish sometimes, bro? Yeah. <laughs> 
thank a good. Oh. Yes! Thank Jesus! We are in the Black Gulch now. Weapon of choice, Handmaiden's Ladle. Uh, Fisty descends into the Black Gulch, wielding the Handmaiden's Ladle. He becomes the Ladle Luminary? Really? Lighting up the darkness with his culinary chaos. That's fun. No! I got poison! No! Cow! Cow! I, I said cow, not 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 the the thing that men have. I said cow. Well, some men have cows. <laughs> ah, that was mean, but I said it. All these stupid, spitting things that are just jazzing all over me. All right, I'm blazing through this. I don't even care. I don't care. I'm running. <sighs> I don't even know how much damage I did to it. Probably not that much because I'm smacking it with a spoon. Go go. Oh, 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 oh. Yes! Lick the sack! No, no, no! I can't run. Oh no, I die! <laughs> uh, fuck you, child goalie. Get around. Get around him! Oh, drink, 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 drink. Uh, oh, come. Ah, oh, that was horse. That was horse, dude. That you're. Oh, God. I hate this game! Oh, I forgot. I need to. I need to examine. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, let me drink for the love of... Ugh. Oh my god, can you please become human so I can beat the snob grass out of you? Oh god! I didn't realize you were right there. Okay, I'll fight you here. I don't care! Oh, I can block. I forgot I can block still. Yes! Lick the sack! Oh god. <laughs> it does nothing. Ugh. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, okay, we're good, we're good. We're good. We're good. I'll chip away at you, you whore. Go, 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 go. Just run! Quit being a pansy! Oh, God. Oh! What did you hit me? What? I was a full football field away from your stupid attack. So after a few hours, we finally got to the rotten, and I know you guys love to know how long it took me in each area. So for the rotten fight alone, it actually didn't take too long at two hours and 14 minutes. The pure agony that is poison with the Handmaiden's Ladal. It is terrible, and I never want to do it again. Here's some stupid things I said. Oh, I'm so glad I was poisoned. Thanks, game. Makes this fight so much easier when you're poisoned. You've got to be licking me, man. God, Jesus. Oh, I'm surprised they didn't blow me away. Does this guy have a dick? <laughs> that's, so, that's such a dumb thing to ask. But does he? Oh my god, is his dick another dude's dick? That's a possibility. His dick is just a bunch of dicks collected together. <gasps> a dick tree. That's just a pickle farm, essentially. <gasps> He's got a pickle farm. You guys, uh... <laughs> this is so dumb. You guys remember the dollar menu? I miss it. Uh, you know, it's, it's almost criminal. Fuck. It's almost criminal that McDonald's thinks that it deserves to be that much money. You know? Legitimately almost criminal. Like, McG McDonald's is good when it's a dollar, not when it's four dollars for one hamburger. Can't believe I'm talking about McDonald's right now. I am genuinely bored. <laughs> this fight has taken so long, I am so bored. I'm shocked that didn't hit me. I'm shocked this game, it set me on fire, but I'm shocked this game didn't count that as a hit. How, did, how would he, like, bang a female rotten? Are there female rottens? I bet they're hot. Yeah, because they're just an amalgamation of a bunch of different bitches. That's hot. I don't know how that didn't strike me down. Goodbye, you loser chubby bastard. So after reviewing the, no joke, 70 plus hours of video footage I have of this game, I realized two things. One, I really need to check my ADHD because it is, it is becoming rampantly bad. And two, the next place we're going to is Huntsman's Corpse. All right, we made it to Huntsman's Corpse. Weapon of choice, the Notched Whip. Okay, I don't have that. Uh, with the Notched Whip in hand, Fisty turns Huntsman's Corpse into a playground, twirling and cracking his whip like an overenthusiastic cowboy, turning enemies into reluctant specters. 
God, I really gotta go find this whip. Where is the notched whip? I think it's in Huntsman's Quartz, if I remember right. So this might surprise a lot of people, but I actually didn't have any problems in Huntsman's Corpse at all and blazed through it pretty quickly. I'll whip the hell out of you, bitch. I was about to say, is there not a guy chasing me? Cause I can hear him. Oh, thank God the whole skeleton armada arrived too. All right, now I have 45 different fucking skeletons to defeat. This is gonna be fun. This is where the men become the boys. <laughs> I don't know how I messed that up. This is where the boys become the men. Oh my God, look at all these. What, what am I Amish? I'm not trying to fight a whole colony. Oh my God, you guys are blocking and it's it's just, it's, it's disrespectful. It's so disrespectful. Oh, yes. Oh, thank God. Was that the third boss? The rotten, the rat, and this guy. Okay. That was the third boss. Let me get out of this fucking armor. So the next armor set ChatGPT wants us to use is the Oris armor set. I hope I'm saying that right. It is the invisible armor set you get for buying a bunch of armor and then going back to him broke. This is literally all ChatGPT wrote for this armor set. Use the invisible Oris armor set. Also join the champion covenant. Have fun. God, what a whore. Weapon of choice, the Full Moon Sickle. I've actually never used this weapon. In the toxin-filled Harvest Valley, Fisty wields the Full Moon Sickle with an aura of agricultural artistry, unintentionally pruning enemies in a garden of confusion. All right, I actually really enjoyed that one. By the way, this took forever to get. There you go, what's up, dude? Oh, you cock. <laughs> Okay, up. I genuinely hate this enemy. You've got to be shitting me. You're not murdering me today. Uh, <laughs> what? <laughs> are you kidding me? How the hell are you that fast? You have no head. I just feel like all ChatGPT truly did was she went on like IGN or GameSpot or something, looked up top 10 worst weapons and gave those to me. So at this point in the game, I was very under leveled for what I was doing. Now when I mean under leveled, I don't know, maybe 38 is like normal for you guys. But in this area, I'm at least 70 when I get here because I genuinely like to take my time and level up and do all that stuff. Um, that's with weapons I use all the time though. Uh, I lost so many damn souls using these stupid weapons. I didn't really have the time to level up until 70. And I could not explain the reason why all of a sudden this game got double hard until I realized I was an idiot. I don't know if like I, I'm not leveling up correctly, but I swear out of nowhere, this game's difficulty just ranked up like a motherfucker. Oh, duh, never, <laughs> never mind. I forgot, I joined the, ch the, the champion covenant, of course. All right, I'm tired of dealing with these ass pubes, so I'm just gonna run past them all, especially this one, who I can't. Oh my God, and you poisoned me. You lick cum. <laughs> How is the a champ right covenant? The the champ yeah. Never never mind. I don't know why I keep asking. All right, bitch. Oh come on, come on! Are you got roll? Do something, son of a whore! It's okay. 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 Now cock milk, milk in the dick. I just want to be done with this area. So like, I'm not grabbing any weapons. I'm not, I'm not doing anything. I'm just, oh my God, you pube. You are literally a pube. You're so lucky your tatties are awesome. Oh God. Oh my God. This might be the only time he legitimately defeats me. Oh God. Oh God. I can't believe he beat me. Goodbye, bitch. All right, your next location is Earthen Peak. Weapon of choice. God, dude, like, thank God I upgraded it, but, oh God. Handmaiden's Ladle. As Fisty navigates Earthen Peak, wielding the Handmaiden's Ladle, his battles take on charm of culinary contest, of course, leaving enemies wondering if they're still, oh God. Leaving enemies wondering if they're in a cooking show? That one was bad. <laughs> that one was terrible. Yeah, hell no. 
Help! Oh, God. You've got to be shitting me. This is bullshit. Or the stupid fucking enemy come out of nowhere and murder. It's bullshit. So after dying way too many times to count in this area, I finally got to one of the hardest challenges I have faced in Dark Souls 2. Setting a windmill on fire. What? Whoa. Were, were they always there? They are always there? Well, that's a load of bull. But I have to deal with these fast, poisonous enemies with a fucking spoon. That has a combo so ridiculously long, he can one-shot me. Look at this. Look at this Amis situation right here. Should I just, should I just jet past that, light it, and then hope and pray I don't get murdered? I'm gonna get murdered. Ah, I said out of the way, bitch. You need to move out the way. You fuck whore. There we go, there we go. Come on, follow me, follow me. F get, get around the stupid staircase. You idiot! Go 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 go! Set the fight, cock lick! You, uh, uh. <laughs> oh god! <sighs> all right, I lit it. That's all that matters. It's on fire. F all of you. I hope you guys all get kidney cancer. So after trying to burn that windmill for far too long, it's finally time to go up against Mytha the Baneful Queen. And I gotta say, out of every fight I've done in this playthrough, this is the most boring. I'm using a broken spoon that does like 40 damage. I'm in the Champion Covenant, so she demolishes me every hit, and she continuously heals herself in that tiny little pool of poison. The most annoying boss in this game, if, if you're doing it this way. If you have a normal weapon, you're gonna defeat her in five hits. <sighs> this is gonna be the longest fight to ever exist. Damn it! Get out of the toxic, you whore! Oh god. That's fun, that's fair. That makes sense, it's fun. I, yeah, yeah, I love this game. Dude, like, she does it every time. She's just sitting in it. There's nothing I can do. Smack them titties with this spoon, bitch. That really didn't hit me. Oh, God. Is it bad I keep focusing on the tatties? <laughs> it probably is. Damn it. Get out of that. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You are wasting. Oh, my God. Dude, just get out of the fucking poison, you whore. You gotta be at least a C, right? <laughs> at least a C cup. I need you to come over here so that way you don't accidentally step in the stupid fucking poison, healing yourself way too much. I know why she hates men so much. She, she's not able to bang. Where's the hole? <laughs> That's so dumb. That's so dumb. But seriously, she hates men because she's not able to be conquered by one. It, in not a war way. She also hates men because of the social commentary of what I'm doing right now. I'm smacking this b God, get out of the poison, you whore! Come on! Come on! Oh my God. Like, this is really what I have to put up with. Of course she's a woman. She's not listening. <laughs> the social commentary of what I'm talking about right now. And that is, I'm beating this bitch with a spoon. You know, the thing that she should be using in the kitchen. Come on! Oh my God, dude. I there's nothing I can do when she's just sitting in the health pool. God, dude. She literally healed herself for like 10 smacks. Okay, no, she didn't. It was just, it was like three smacks. But still, come on, man. That's three additional smacks. I guess if she wanted to, she could suck some mad. <laughs> I mean, her head still works. She does scream. Of course, because like... Like what? Yeah. Like yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 Makes sense. I like to imagine that every single time I slap them tatties, <laughs> that it causes more damage. It doesn't. Wait. Maybe it does. <laughs> wait. 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 The first one slapped that right tit of hers. I swear it did 32 damage. The other one did 24. Smacking her tatties is her weak spot. Oh, <gasps> the tits are the weak spot. You know, it makes sense. It make it real. It, it, it makes it makes sense. This boss fight is probably going to make me late for work. <laughs> However, I'm not doing this again. So if I got to be late, I'll be late. I don't care. So much progression just disappearing because this bitch will not get out of the fucking poison. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit. One more hit. Suck the balls. 
I never want to see you again. So like an evil toxic relationship, I was finished with this whore and ready to move on to the next one. I'm just going to give you guys a quick warning real quick. The next area is Iron Keep in the Champion Covenant using a terrible weapon over nine hours in this place. I, I'm having PTSD flashbacks thinking about it. Welcome to Iron Keep, a place that everyone loves and no one likes to talk shit about on YouTube. <laughs> All right. Uh, the next area is Iron Keep. Weapon of choice. <sighs> the Broken Short Sword. Fisty enters the Iron Keep with an ambitious enthusiasm that's only matched by his <laughs> comedic post oh, pot stirring technique in battles? I don't understand that one, but okay. <laughs> All right, let's do it. See that dodge? Oh God. <laughs> oh God. Yeah, how you like getting bitch smack, bitch? Oh, you're getting stun locked. Yeah. Oh, I might be able to do this. I should probably level this thing up, shouldn't I? I have 42,000 experience. <laughs> I should probably go level up. Ah, listen to how sweet and innocent I was, having no idea that this was gonna take over nine hours. But don't worry, I promise you will only be watching the funny parts of those terrible nine hours. Ah, you cocksmith! What's a dick doctor called? <laughs> Can we start calling uh, uh, penis doctors cocksmiths? I've never received this before. It looks pretty cool. <laughs> it also just looks like I took a tree, cut its limb off, and attached it to my face. Oh, you have to be, <laughs> you have to believe in Jesus and be intelligent to wear a tree on your head. <laughs> God. Okay, there we go. Daddy's got gotcha. you. Daddy's got gotcha. you. Shit. <laughs> Daddy doesn't have you anymore. Okay, you've lost your father. I hope you know that. Hope you know you're about to get sexually harassed. Am I dead? <laughs> what? Starting to understand why everyone hates this area. Because <laughs> if you don't walk around with a weapon that can kill these guys in two hits, this game is annoying. You know how people believe in pretty privilege? It, I mean, it exists 100%, but like, you know how people believe in uh, pretty privilege? I believe in uh, big dick energy privilege, which this game has if you walk around with a giant sword. If you don't walk around with a giant sword, you do not have the big D energy. <sighs> right now, I just, I'm walking around with this puny little broken thing. It's like throwing a tic tac down a hallway. I'd much rather be swinging that big D than flicking the tick, which is what I'm doing right now. This is a, this is a flicking a tic tac weapon. Don't get me wrong, flicking tic tacs into a woman's mouth is fun, but like, one is never satisfying. <laughs> this is, <laughs> this, this could be seen as such a dirty thing right now. Oh, duh. You know what world I want to live in? Bad actors. <laughs> just, like, just imagine a bad actor in an action film. Like, he gets shot instead of Keanu Reeves being like, Oh, shit, I got hurt, and it hurt me. Instead, he's like, Ow! Oh, God! <laughs> ah, it stings a little. I, it, it stings. It, it's stinging. That would, oh, my God. Okay, I see I need to focus. <laughs> I see I need to focus and not talk about dumb things. Okay, let's do that. Dodge level 100. Look at that. I just walked away from that. Nice try. <laughs> okay, he hit me, but like, whatever. Where's the, uh, there it is. I'm gonna die. Ah, oh, you, oh! Sacagawea, you, you whore! Who, who bowed me? All right, I'm coming for your mom, bro. I'm coming for your mom. Yes! I said yes! Oh, lick the ball sack, good sir! Oh my god, dude. I'm- Oh, I told you I was gonna fuck your mom. Your mom's gonna get fucked by me, bro. I hope you know that. Oh my god, time for your mom. Time for your mom to have anal fissures! Oh my god, dude, I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna fuck you up so badly. Oh, I can't wait. Please follow me. Uh, don't go. Oh fuck! Fuck! <sighs> I took so much time to do that. Why is my character so slippery? You've got to be fucking me. Fucking! 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 Fuck! 
What the fuck was that? I never told you to kick, dude. Oh my god, dude. Like, ugh. All right, that's it. I have been doing this for three and a half, four hours, something like that. We're doing this. I have a beautiful mustache. I have nice pecs. Be beautiful biceps. <sighs> okay, we're gonna go. We're gonna win. We're gonna win. All right, we got this. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna slaughter some daughters. We're gonna fuck all of their daughters. <laughs> okay. Do you know how I just wrecked you from behind? That's what I'm gonna do to your daughter. <laughs> I'm fucking some daughters. No, you cock breath. All right, just, just calmeth down. When I bang your daughter, there's gonna be no condoms. Chow. Don't play peekaboo with me, okay? Can you hit me? <laughs> it went through the pit. Oh God, this is a beautiful game. Uh, a what? I didn't know those. I had no I. What? Son, fucking mother, fucking cock, cock. Mouthful of cock. God, sack him, Joia. I couldn't switch because of all these fucking dumb things people write. What, what, what do you have to say? Look carefully, then destroy. Thanks. But that, oh my God, the knowledge you just gave me. Thanks. I kind of don't want to risk hitting all of them. <laughs> like, what if it explodes and kills me and then I have to do this again? I don't want to do that but I kind of want to find out what happens if you do break up. Oh shit. I've, I'm done wondering. <laughs> I'm done wondering. I almost just died. If I jump across this and die, I'm going to break everything in this room. So let's not do that. You know what really sucks about this? I'm going to die. <laughs> I'm going to die and I'm going to have to repeat all of this fucking shit again. You're already enraged. I hit you once. Really? This has to be the champion covenant. <laughs> like this has to, this has to do something with the champion covenant. <sighs> I actually feel like crying. <laughs> this is the first time a video game brought me. They're not sad tears. They are fierce anger tears. So after taking a brief moment to cry in a corner and contemplate genuinely giving up, I, I happen to have remembered I'm a man and men don't give up. I am gonna conquer this fucking game. So I did what any logical man would do. I came up with a solid plan. And that completely solid plan is ChatGPT told me that I had to defeat three bosses in the Champion Covenant. She didn't say it had to be this specific boss and then the next boss you fight and then the next one. It just says fight three bosses with this armor. So I decided I'm gonna go back and tame three other bosses to get this stupid outfit over. So that way I don't have to wear, I don't have to be in the champion covenant anymore. And the funniest thing about this, I didn't have to do any of this. All I had to do was fight one additional boss because I already defeated Java the Gut, Pizza the Hut, I already defeated him and I defeated the, 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 the ripoff of Medusa. All I had to do was fight one additional boss and I could have moved on. But instead, I decided to bring back the last giant and also the pursuer, tame both of them on New Game Plus, champion by the way. And then also I decided why not just get the Scorpion Queen finished with so that way I don't have to come back to this area. The weapon I was supposed to use for that area anyways was the whip, so I did defeat the Scorpion Woman with the whip. And also, don't worry, that small little funny thing she said was not funny at all. It was really, it's, it's, it was terrible. So now, equipped with a new armor set, I was finally able to completely decimate Iron Keep. But of course, the next armor set I had to wear was not an easy one. So, my next armor set is the Moonlight Butterfly set will be your next armor set for the next three bosses. Prepare to be dazzled and bewilder your foes as you poison them to death. Have fun with this one. The next three... Oh, God, dude. Like... <laughs> the next three bosses can only be defeated by your poison effect? I hate this game. <laughs> I hate this game. I'm not just a beautiful butterfly. I'm a beautiful butterfly with six pack abs. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm getting gang banged. I just got gang banged. Oh my God, these guys just Eiffel towered me. <laughs> Don't look that up. <laughs> Do not look that up. 
<laughs> oh my god. The b uh, the butterfly effect makes it so you can't jump. <laughs> it's draining. Oh my god. It's draining at an incredible rate. This was so much easier than what I thought it was going to be. There we go. Bitch is being poisoned. <laughs> How you like the dick in your mouth? It is full of poison. Uh, finally! Lick my sack! So after nine excruciating hours, we finally got finished with the smelter demon. However, we still have one more boss in this area. And the rest of Iron Keep took me, I'm not kidding you, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, it's an hour and 37 minutes. So overall, Iron Keep, it did the whole of Iron Keep took me 10 hours and 37 minutes. After finally defeating the Smelter Demon, I, I didn't even want to hear myself talk anymore. So I shut off my mic and I continued to just blaze through this until I got to the old Iron King. Uh, all right, I, I so want to be done with this place. Like, I don't, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm legitimately so tired of this place. <laughs> Why does no monsters have peckers? This used to be a man. Oh, there we go. He's being poisoned. Yes. Oh God, this is gonna take forever. <laughs> this is gonna take forever. I almost killed myself. God, you're ripped. <laughs> I love how it's always a ripped demon. Those are the type of biceps I want. <laughs> Look at those abs. Oh, no. This is gonna take a fortnight. And not that crappy game. I literally mean Fortnite. It means 14 days. Right? God. Fuck! God fucking... Mm. Oh my god. Oh my... Wait! He died! No! He died! Oh, come on! Oh! <laughs> Yes! Suck my white ass, you son bitch! Oh. I almost forgot we're in a new area. So, weapon of choice for this area is the full moon sickle. With the full moon sickle in hand, Fisty sculpts chaos in Brightstone Cove, crafting confusion with artistic bewilderment with each swing. I'm gonna feel like these guys can't be poisoned. Wait, he can! Yes! Cut! You have a dick hair of health left! Damn! Okay, so they can be poisoned. Okay, good. Wow. Are you kidding? That, that poison took away almost all of his health besides a pube. Are you kidding me? Oh, God. Well, there goes a shat ton of souls. Fun. Ooh, did that kill one of them? Hell yeah. Okay, so one of them's dead. Good. Now I just need to sniff on this guy's wiener for a little. Ha <laughs> ha! You have been pizzan, good sir. Don't heal yourself. That better not have worked. You have got to be eating my chode. <laughs> Did you really just heal everyone? Sacagawea! There you are! <laughs> yeah! I like sipping that Kool-Aid. That's a reference. <laughs> That's a reference not many people will get. He drank the Kool-Aid and now he's dying? Never mind. <laughs> not many people are gonna get that. If you get that reference, you are old. <laughs> you are old. Oh, now, come on, man. Why are you living with a dick hair of health? Like, what? what is this? Do you get a lot of souls for these? Yeah, 8,000, yeah. I was thinking, there's, there's no way you get a decent amount. I just realize I'm not going to be able to roll. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is, I, that's me turning. God, I look cool. Look at that midriff. <laughs> I look like the average 19-year-old girl in California. <laughs> I'm, I'm not on drugs yet, so I'm not the average. <laughs> that was evil. I'm not the average. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on any PCP or Coke or Crocodile just yet, but just give me some time. I like that my face looks like a butthole. <laughs> uh, you know what? <laughs> This is this is the childhood in me or not the childhood the childishness of me that looks like a butthole and that um 
Yeah, never mind. It, does, it doesn't matter. It, it doesn't matter what it looks like. Let's just keep going. So first things first, before I continued, I wanted to make sure that this armor set was broken because I was definitely going to forget. So I immediately went straight back to the gutter and broke some of these pots because I know these pots drain your armor rate. And then sadly, these pots didn't do enough. So I found this little guy right here to help me out. All right, time to fight my favorite boss in the whole Dark Souls 2. Yay. Oh, I love this boss so much. It's it's the greatest boss ever. Oh God. Oh God. Oh, come on. That was a perfect dodge. What? Oh my God. Roll. Oh my God, dude. How? Mm. It's another reason why I hate this stupid boss. That happens way too many times where your character just dings off of what should have been their head. Oh, now, what hit me there? You mean that fucking leg that was two feet away from me? Oh, God. It's just not fun. Yeah, you can cheese the hell out of her like what I'm doing right now, but it still doesn't bring the, the fun factor any higher. Thank God you're done. I didn't want to face you in the first place. So at this point, I decided to do a little bit of backtracking because I wanted to defeat the Belfry Luna. The only way to defeat the Belfry Luna was to get the shielded crossbow, so I needed to beat the Executioner's Chariot. So that's what I'm about to do right now. Also, the weapon of choice in the Undead Purgatory is the Blacksmith Hammer. So that's what I'll be using against this boss. Are oh, you gotta be jerking me off. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. I'm gonna die. Cock! Please don't hit me, please don't hit me, please don't hit me. Just go through the wall without any problems. God. You guys are such. Oh my God, you guys are dick hunters. <laughs> like, look at this. Oh God. I'm so glad that the whole family was able to watch me get murdered. Finally. Are you kidding me? I guess a horse running into me would hurt, but come on. What? Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot my shield wasn't up. The fuck? Oh, I love it. I love when a random skeleton shows up. That's fun. Will you die? Whew, thank God the uh, designers didn't. Um, <laughs> thank God the devs didn't like put everything on this horse, if you know what I'm saying. You know, when he rears up like that. We don't want to see uh, another bone. <laughs> Uh, it would be gigantic. This is the biggest horse that ever exists. I was about to say, if you kill me, I am going to rage, take the game out, and shove it in a wall. Uh, that was stupid. <laughs> I'm going to take the game and break it in half. See, that was, a, that was a better one. We are at Belfry Luna. The weapon of choice is the shield crossbow, a weapon I have never used before. It's not how you guys treated Snow White, okay? I am just as gorgeous. Oh, thank God. Thank God you attacked me from off screen. Makes this game a lot more fun when things are attacking you that you can't see. Oh God. Oh, thank God the third one showed up. Uh, I was starting to, you know, not feel like that tiny little blonde on that couch. <laughs> that's, so, that's so gross. You guys know exactly what I'm talking about too. Oh my God, another one comes alive. Oh, I killed him in midair. Oh, I feel like a legit G. Just like uh, Dark Souls 1, the gargoyles are pretty easy when you have a bow. This was not that bad. I actually do not mind the, uh, this, <laughs> the shield crossbow. It's actually pretty good. So now with all that side stuff out of the way, it is time to go back to Dranglet Castle. No, no, 30,000 souls. I'm not losing. I'm not losing 30,000 souls. This game can lick my balls. Hep. All right, expert, expert, expert. <laughs> they, they both immediately hit me. <laughs> I hate this game so much. All right, let's see how much damage I'm about to wreck on this man. Oh, all right. That's a lot of damage. Oh man, this guy's about to die. This guy's about to die a slow and painful death. Do you guys remember when I said there were a few bosses that were just really annoying in this game? Well, welcome to one of those annoying bosses. So please enjoy this mind crippling depression I received while fighting these two dudes. Oh my God, dude, you chew peckers for a living. Do you realize that? Perfect roll. Okay, perfect, perfect. Back, God. <laughs> really? God. 
God, I hope every single person in your family catches syphilis. <laughs> that was dumb. I don't know why I said that, but I hope! All right, you just chill there, okay? I'm about to- now, you know what? You know what? I want you to follow, because I want you to watch as I dodge this fucking room like a professional! <laughs> I, I hate this game so much. Oh, God. I can't see anything because I have two massive toad wielders next to me. Don't look that up. <laughs> oh, I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Chode is a tiny pecker. <laughs> I got two toad wielders over here. Peckers are turtling like a scared turtle. Oh my god, I hope you both drown in a house fire! Imagine being one of these guys that comes to life. He's like, <gasps> oh, oh, I was a stone for 45,000 years. Oh, a guy! And they immediately attack the one dude who set them free. Assholes. Alright, I'm not losing this time. I'm gonna beat your dicks off your body, so get ready. Do, do, you, do you see? Hold on. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> I didn't even move! Oh my god, I'm gonna rage. Okay, I'm just gonna hug this guy like he's my absent father. <laughs> it didn't work. Kind of like how the real one didn't either. Oh my god. <laughs> it's I'm getting so depressed. <laughs> Alright, time for me to impregnate your wives. <laughs> and after I'm done impregnating your wives, I'm gonna go bang your moms! What the hell? Oh my god. Do you, you know how long that took? That took like 20 minutes! Alright, last time I banged your mom, this time I'm banging your dad. Get ready. Alright, you're about to have a new dad. It's gonna be a stepdad. He's gonna be me. Whoa, well, what the? Where? Where did you come from? You're not the guy up there. Do you hop down after a while? What the fuck is this? Oh my god, I didn't know that- uh, Look at my- God, fucking shit, cock, in the mouth! The puff peckers, in the fucking- uh. <sighs> Do you know how long that took? <laughs> Do you know how long that took? I got him down to less than half health. Less than half. You know how long that took with this stupid weapon? Forever! And the second guy just- oh, my brother's in Daryl, I better jump down there and help him. This is just ridiculous. When two of them start attacking at once, it's- it's ridiculous. How am I gonna do this? Seriously, I got two tubby bitches just chasing me. Oh god, blowing my back out like I was a star. Okay, so I need to go for Blue Bonnet up. <laughs> I need to attack Blue Bonnet up there first. You know what's crazy? That joke, that blue bonnet joke, because it blue bonnet's butter for people that have no idea. It, it's a it's a brand of butter. The reason that is a high quality joke is because butter is usually what goes in cakes, and that's what this bastard is eating every day of his life. I need to spend the majority of my career. <laughs> oh my god, I cannot wait to lay you down and just beef stew all over your face, bro. I'm gonna fart so hard. Okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. We got one down, we got one down, we got one down. Okay, okay, now all I need to do is just take my time. Is just take my time and murder this one. Okay, oh, 10 hours later. Don't fuck it up now, do not fuck it up now. He's got like three more hits. He's got like three more hits. It's okay, don't mess it up. Don't mess it up, please, please, please God, please God. Please die, please die, please die. <laughs> Yes! Oh, thank God! Oh, thank you, Jesus! Oh, I can get done with this stupid fuck! I'm so done! It's 5 a.m. <laughs> I haven't slept! I just didn't! <laughs> oh, thank God! I'm so, I'm so- I'm so done! Oh, I hate this game so much! Once I get to a checkpoint, I am so walking away from this game for the day! And I'm gonna go sleep for 10 hours! Oh, God. This guy's gonna molly -wop the shit out of me. There's a fucking gnat on my mic. <laughs> I just watched it land. Wait, this is the King's Passage. All right, so I was able to get her to tell me what to do, and it looks like she wants me to do the King's Passage with the weapon of choice. <sighs> Dung pie. <laughs> I'm, 
Dude, have I already dealt with enough poop in this game? Uh, welcome to King's Passage, where you'll defy conventional wisdom and face the haunting foes of Dranglet Castle, armed with nothing but a legend- <laughs> Wait, what? Armed with nothing but the legendary dung pie. What she's- I'm gonna simplify that real quick. Armed with nothing but the legendary shit that's in your hands. It's place- oh Jesus. It's a place where knights and spirits don't know whether to fight you or ask you for your secret recipe. Okay, I think she thinks, <laughs> I think she meant dung pie. I, I think she she just read pie. No, it's not pie full of poop. Anyways, uh, let's see. Uh, and where the drawbridge surrenders to your stinky diplomacy. So grab your dung pies and let's make this journey through King's Passage a dung-tastic adventure you'll never forget. I'm pretty sure chucking turds also affects me, doesn't it? Oh God. I'm so glad I threw 21 pieces of turd on you, and it did nothing. Please, God. Please, God. Okay, okay. Oh, oh, holy shit, I rolled through that. I'm a boss. What? That should not have hit me. <gasps> He's poisoned. I didn't even realize. It's probably because I was hitting him on the face. <laughs> Dude, imagine me hit in the face by a rat turd. Dude, this guy gets poisoned easily. <laughs> Just smacking this dude in the face with a turd is awesome. Do not attack me. I'm healing you, Dick Smith. Oh, he's dead. <laughs> that was easy. Oh, nice. Look at that. I defeated Jesus with poop. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to hell for that one. Don't worry, guys. In three days, he'll arise from the turds that I have casted upon him. <laughs> Pushing the giant turd mound away from him. Okay, I gotta stop. <laughs> I gotta stop. I need to go to church after this. So I, I deep down hope that he's up there giggling at these jokes that you guys are hearing right now. Instead of being like, oh, okay, all right, okay. Well, as soon as you get up here, I, s I swear to me. <laughs> I swear to me you're going to hell. I'm going to be like, oh, you think you're a funny guy, huh? You think you're funny? You make jokes about my son? <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I got I to gotta end it right now. That, that's that, that, I'm, I'm going to go to hell. The worst place in this game. I don't care. I don't care if you enjoy this game or not. This is the worst place in this game. <sighs> all right. We are in Shrine of Amana. The, the only thing I like about this place is the kind of peaceful singing that those uh, bitches do. Let's see. Um, Shrine of Amana. Weapon of choice. Ricard's rapier. All right, a blast from the past. That's what I'm talking about. In the haunting shrine of Amana, Fisty wields R R Ricard's, Ricard's, Ricard's rapier. Inadvertently transforming the tranquil waters into a symphony of chaotic dancing and knife wielding capabilities that leaves the enemies soaked in confusion. Get it? Cause water. Oh God. We have now come upon my most hated place in all of Dark Souls 2, the Shrine of Amana. And this was the number one most annoying place this playthrough. This place took damn near eight hours to get through. A full work day, a full work day. All that time lost, never, never to be received back. I could have done so many things in that eight hours. I could have made my life better. I could, I could have, I could have played something else. <laughs> but no, I did this. It's the gentleman poke. Uh, what, what did I call this? Uh, it, uh, the, the thousand poke stroke? <laughs> the thing that Johnny Sins does? Man, this is going to get age restricted. <laughs> I cannot wait to perform, to perform my thousand poke stroke on you. Get ready, Bo. Gentlemen. Ha -da, ha -da, ha -da. Ow, ow. Hey, 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 hey. Calm down. That does not take a lot of stamina. Thousand poke stroke! <laughs> you can't. Feel like I should level this up. You guys think? I kind of feel like I. No, 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 no. What am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing? This is supposed to be a hard playthrough. I'm not trying to make this easier. That was actually uh, one. I wouldn't say major. Comp oh my god, dude! Like the damage this thing outputs. You know, yeah, I'm not leveling it up. It, it, it'd be too strong. That was one major complaint that you guys had. Why didn't I level any weapons up? Um, because it's supposed to be hard, guys. <laughs> I'm I'm supposed to have a difficult time. So me leveling it up would make it not difficult. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I just remembered. Uh, that was the third boss with this armor, right? I'm pretty sure. Let, hold on, let me think. It was, um... Crap, now I don't remember if I did two bosses or three bosses with this armor. The spider woman? 
uh, Jesus, <laughs> the Looking Glass Knight, and actually, I, I think this is this will be the third. If I'm wrong, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm I'm li I'm trying my hardest to keep track of everything. There's so much stupid things I have to keep track of. I'm try I'm I'm genuinely trying. I want to say this one will be the third boss since I'm not going to be fighting anything because I just want to blast through it. I'm going to wear the diaper version of this and I'm going to be running through everything. Dude, look at this shenanigans, man. Oh god. This is ridiculous. Oh god. This is why I hate this area so much. Can't really run in the water. You, you gotta kill everything. There's 14,000 casters just casting everything at you. Will you stagger? You s- Oh my god, you s- Your mom is a whore! God, it doesn't help that it is hot as balls in my room right now. Look at this sh Look at this tomfoolery I'm facing. I hate this place. <laughs> I hate this place. I need to turn on the AC. Holy shit. Man, my titty sweat has titty sweat. I love how those guys can sprint. <laughs> they could sprint like Hussein Bolt in this water. I move like a toddler. Oh, come on, where the? Mm. Just run. What are you? Why are you just walking like a fucking idiot? Oh my god, I hate this fucking game so much. There's a way to not glitch this guy, but to uh. There we go. When he does that move. What? What? Hey. All right. His skull was 1000% open game. Good night, whore. So at this point, I was so tired of the Shrine of Amana. I hope you guys understand. I just blazed through it. I didn't collect anything. I didn't pick anything up. I, I tried my hardest to just get through it, and it took forever. Your armor set for the next three bosses will be the Bone King armor set. All right, I look pretty damn good. <laughs> All right, so let's see. Uh, the penalty for wearing this armor set is you must fight the next three bosses with the weapon in your left hand. Can I even do that? All right, so uh, your next location is the Undead Crypt. Your weapon of choice is the pickaxe. Thank God. <laughs> I looked ahead just a tiny bit and I saw I was going to be needing the pickaxe. So I kind of wanted to show you guys how to do this because I have never once received the pickaxe ever in my hundreds of hours of playing this game. And that's because it's a really cryptic way of doing it. I don't know if that's the right word to use, but I'm going to use it. It's cryptic. <laughs> you have to go to the top of the Blightstone Cove and get one of these boars and have him follow you all the way down close to where that stupid spider is. And right before the door, there's a tiny little patch of grass that has some mushrooms in it. If you escort this pig all this boar all the way over there he'll eat the mushrooms which exposes the pickaxe and that's the only way to get the pickaxe in this game so i named him dave porkinoy <laughs> uh that's such a stupid name anyways his name is dave porkinoy and uh after he graciously took the time to follow me and help me get this pickaxe, I sent him to heaven. Within the crypt's hushed chambers, Fisty clenches the pickaxe like an archaeologist gone rogue, mining confusion from the depths of the undead eternal rest. Oh god! That didn't hit me! Legitimately did not hit me. So while in the undead crypt, I almost forgot that we still had to beat one of the primal bonfire people because I didn't yet have the red iron twin blade. So now we're going to go back and we're going to slaughter that lost sinner's daughter. I've actually never used a twin blade. I know that sounds crazy, but I have never used a twin blade for my whole time playing this game. But holy shit. These things are, rid <laughs> these things are ridiculously cool. Ugh, all right. Time for me to beat the hell out of you. <laughs> Time for me to beat the hell out of a woman. Like a man should. <laughs> that's a joke, that's a joke, that's a joke. Never touch a woman. Do not be a loser. Only losers hit women. That's me not joking. Do not be a loser. Having said that, I'm about to mollywop the- <laughs> I'm about to give this- this whore a haymaker from hell. Oh, dude, I'm about to slaughter this bitch's daughter! Oh my god! The damage! Whore, you have no ch you might as well be flashing them titties right now, because that's the only way I'm letting you out of this alive. Shit. <laughs> Alright, okay, I was going easy on you because you're a woman, okay? <laughs> I was going easy on you. Not anymore, bitch. Ooh, alright. About to put the wife beater on. 
I'm about to beat you like a trailer park husband. <laughs> this is this is all so bad. Uh, obviously, this is jokes. Okay, okay. I I just I want to make that very apparent that I am joking. All right. I know how YouTube is sometimes. This is no call to arms. <laughs> all right. These are all jokes. Please, YouTube, do not demonetize me for stupid jokes. Oh, I love it so much. Look at that dick tickler. <laughs> Oh uh, man, the things I come up with are really stupid. I'm so sorry, guys. Good night, whore! <laughs> See, I told you I'd beat you. <laughs> come on now. Come on now. You're just a girl. Oh <laughs> uh, man, the things I say are so dumb. I let you win the first time because I was being a gentleman, you know? Only gentlemen allow bitches to win once. I have to give you a little hope before I slaughter your daughter. Is this the one that's gonna scare the, the pussy off me? <laughs> is this the one that's gonna scare my vag? I don't remember. Ah, Jesus fuck, man, that's so loud! <laughs> I, I turned it down so low! Why'd I do that? That was dumb. That was so dumb of me! Damn it! <laughs> God! I see shiny things and I want to pick them up! Pray for me in the comments below. <laughs> By the way, if you've made it this far, I genuinely- let me- let me give you- let me give you- one of these. Thank you. <laughs> I know this video is gonna be long, I can already tell. I wanna say at this point, I have over 50 hours in this game alone, and I still have like five areas to go through. So, I thank you, it, it means a lot. Alright. And also, I will be trying to comment to every single person that comments on this video. Like I always do. I, 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 I try to make that... I, I try my damn just to comment back to everything, even if it's mean or stupid. But what do you know, we have yet another incredibly boring boss. Now don't get me wrong, I actually think this is one of the better boss fights in Dark Souls 2, but with this pickaxe, with using it in my left hand, with it constantly breaking all the time, I, I, I'm, not, I'm just gonna just speed this for you real quick. I, I didn't level it up, but I did infuse it with lightning, so that way when it finally did break, I could still hurt him. And even though each try took like 10 minutes, I only had to do it twice, so I, I pretty much blazed through it. So there's Nothing really to show here. All right, so the next area is Aldia's Keep, weapon of choice. Oh, thank, thank, thank God. The Red Iron Twin Blade, wielding the Red Iron Twin Blade with, within Aldia's Keep, Fisty conjures an unintentional dance of magical mayhem, leaving enemies spellbound by his bewandering moves and amazingness. Okay, all right, well, all right, cool. I couldn't give a fig. Oh, I'm gonna start saying that. <laughs> I'm gonna start saying that. I couldn't give a fig. <laughs> oh, that's cool. You know what? I will murder for you. you. You know, you're a good salesman. You know what? Man, you should sell cars. I would have bought a Lambo from you. <gasps> what the? What? What? A message that actually works? I had no... I, I, I have three, four, five hundred hours in this game. And there's just an invisible guy there that whole time. You gonna take off one more time? Yep, 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 yep. Just make sure to take off every two seconds. Which makes this fight a lot of fun. I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm just, uh, this is a riveting time for me. Just waiting for a dragon to land. This fight is legitimately boring, so next area. So, next place you go to is the Dragon Eri. <laughs> uh, weapon of choice, the Lion's Great Axe. Amidst the aerial domain, Fisty wields the Lion Great Axe with f uh, fervor. Fer what's fervor? <laughs> Channeling the spirit of a befuddled dragon slayer, much to the amusement of the resident wyverns. Oh my god. <laughs> that one was terrible. It means a lot. Oh, cut your br uh, you cut oh, oh, come on. Oh, come. <laughs> You have got to be shitting me! Now in the Dragon Shrine. Uh, weapon of choice, the whip. That's gonna be a lot of fun. Climbing to the Dragon Shrine's peak, Fisty's whip becomes a symbol of his taming prowess as he un un unwittingly conducts a dance of confusion that both awes and perplexes the dragons. All right. Yeah, how do you like getting whipped, boy? <laughs> Uh, these jokes are gonna piss some people off. You know what? I'll change it up. Ooh, there you go. <laughs> you like it kinky, don't you? Make you feel what Jesus felt. <laughs> That's so. That was so. Oh my God! I can't believe I just said that. I apologize, God. That that was not a cool joke. Jabus. 
Dude, how? Look. <laughs> are you are you fucking kidding me? What 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 is what? I, <laughs> what am I? <coughs> oh my god! What am I supposed to do there? That was a constant barrage of hammers. All right. So sadly, after this point. This is the last time I talk because all of my audio that I did got corrupted after this point of the game. And so I'm just going to talk you through what I did real quick. So after receiving the ability to go into memories from the ancient dragon, I essentially just ran through every single one of them and collected the giant soul that I needed. And then when it came to battling the last giant V2, I had to use the normal whip. And then I found out very quickly that sadly I was going to have to upgrade this whip because the amount of time they allow you to stay in memories was not long enough for me to defeat him. And and so I got the whip up to plus seven and finally after a few tries, I was able to do it. And of course, because I beat three bosses, I had to switch my armor set. And the next armor set she wanted me to use was the Black Witch armor set, which I was actually kind of surprised they let a dude put this on, but hey, you know, it's kind of cool. Thankfully, ChatGPT did not give me a penalty for this armor set. All she said was have fun doing a side mission you didn't want to do. Yeah, I didn't want to do this. And so with all the giant souls collected, I decided I was going to molly -wop the hell out of Vendrick. And he molly the hell out of me because I had to use the pickaxe. And then I remembered, wait a minute, the ancient dragon also has a giant soul, which the more giant souls you have, the easier time you will have going up against Vendrick. And so I had to whip the shit out of an ancient dragon, which of course this took forever. But eventually I defeated this dragon and it was off to defeat Vendrick. All right. And so at this point, the only thing I had left was to defeat the Watchers and Nassandra. And now for the last armor set we're using in the game, and that is going to be the Looking Glass Knight armor set. The penalty for this one, you are not allowed to use any health items. Just, just, just the greatest amount of fun. And the Watchers took so damn long because they just kept reviving themselves because of course the weapon of choice that I had to use in this area was the shield crossbow. Oh God, and the description that ChatGPT wrote about the Throne of Want it, it's such a tongue twister. At the precipice of destiny, Fisty brandishes the shield crossbow with an air of grandeur, combining solidarity of movement with a touch of unexpected hilarity. I, I don't know what any of that means. And like I said before, these throne watchers were annoying as hell. I had to buy so many crossbow bolts just to finish them. But finally, after about 14 tries, I was able to defeat them. And then the last person I had to defeat was Nassandra, who was actually fairly easy. All I did was I walked into the room, she spawned her little curse golems or whatever the hell you call them, and then she would walk towards me because I wouldn't walk towards her, so I didn't have to worry about those curse things. And then, finally, finally, after over 70 hours and this many deaths, I can finally say Dark Souls 2 ChatGPT has been completed, and I never want to look at Dark Souls 2 again. It'll be put on my shelf. Actually, you know what? I'm not putting it on my shelf. I'm going to put it in the closet behind a bunch of things so I never have to even see the game again. In all seriousness, though, this was a lot of fun to do, and I really hope you guys enjoy it. I know it's going to be a long one compared to the other ones, and I do apologize. And of course, I still have to do the three DLCs, so I guess I shouldn't put it in the closet right away. But I just wanted to say, if you made it this far, I commend you for your ability to sit for way too long. I apologize this was this long. But I also wanted to say thank you because this took forever for me to do. Again, it was over 70 hours of just recording and then I had to scrub through 70 hours of footage. And I really do appreciate the time you gave me. I'm glad that you watched and I really hope you enjoyed. <sighs> Alright guys, so that's going to be it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like what you saw and you want to see more, feel free to hit that subscribe button, finger that notification bell, keep up with all my uploads. Comment down below guys, tell me what you thought of this video, <sighs> and I'll catch you guys in the next one, which will probably be the DLC for Dark Souls 2. Fun!